our topic for today is about the series R and Basic Circuits. This is just a part one. No? Okay, my name is Engineer Reggie Marinai. Okay. So, we are given here a series AC circuit, so series RL in particular. So, we have the resistance, we have an inductance. So, that is a voltage here. We have here our VR or shall we say our ER. Okay, then we have our EL. Okay, then we have the total voltage E, let's say. No? So, whether it is V or E, so no problem here. So, first we have here our uh, impedance. Let us recall, so we have, if we have pure inductor, so we have here Z, that is equal to R plus JX sub L. Okay, then we have E squared, the total voltage squared, no, that's equal to ER, what is the voltage at the resistor, square it, then plus the voltage across the inductor, then square. Okay, then we have here our impedance triangle for our series RM. So this is our resistance, then our X sub N. Okay, so let's go now to the first problem. Okay, so a voltage represented by 280 sine omega t is applied to a coil having a resistance of 20 ohms and inductance of 0 0.02 Henry. Okay, so here we have this RL. So this is our voltage source V. We have here our R. We have our N. So our R is 20 ohms. Then our L is equal to uh, 0 0.02 Henry. Okay. So the frequency is 50 hertz. So our voltage V is 280. We have here sine omega t. Actually, it has a plus zero here. It has plus zero degree here. Okay. So, we are, uh, let us convert this into polar form. So, we have here 280. This should be a sine function, no? So, that is the bar angle of zero degree, since this is uh, zero. Okay. So we're given the frequency that is 50 hertz. Okay, so find the phase difference between the voltage and the current. So we have here our current. Current I. The phase difference is it can be equal to uh, impedance angle. Oh, the phase difference is also the, the impedance angle. It is also the uh, the power angle, the angle of the uh, apparent power, S. And it is also the angle of the uh, admittance, which is the reciprocal of impedance. Okay? So we have here our uh, resistance. Let us uh, have first our X sub L. Our X sub L is equal to This is our omega L that is equal to 2 pi F L. So we have 2 pi, then we have here our frequency 50 hertz, then our L 0 0.02. Okay. So uh, let us uh, calculate this one. Two times pi times fifty times point zero two. That is simply equal to uh, two pi, or in decimal it is six point twenty eight. Okay, you hear me clearly? 
to all our Zoom participants, okay? So, then also we welcome our uh, FB Live viewers, no? Okay, so let us convert this one. We have our Z, let's say this is our ZRL, that is equal to 20 plus J. So, our X sub L is 6.28. So, let us... Uh, let us convert this one. Okay, shape all. We have 20, then shape, close parenthesis. So we have the comma, then 6.28. Close parenthesis, then equals. So we have here our GRL that is. 20.96 then we have the bar angle equal to 17.43 degrees okay and you will see here that this is our angle theta again this angle theta is the angle in our three very important triangle in each circuit. Again, this is impedance, resistance, reactance, apparent power, real power, and our reactive power. Then we have here our admittance triangle, conduct, conductance, and this is our susceptance. That is a 90 degrees right triangle. So this is our theta. You will see this is 17.43 degrees. They are all 17.43 degrees. Whether it is impedance angle, apparent power angle, or admittance angle. And that is also the, the phase difference between the total voltage and the total current. Okay? So therefore, our answer would be letter, okay, part Ayun, letter A is our answer. Okay, let's have now problem number two. For problem number two, we have we have a choking coil. It takes ten amperes when when connected to AC supply of 230 volts 50 hertz if the resistance of the coil is 2 ohms find its inductance so let us draw first the figure so we are given here a choking coil so meaning it is an RL circuit Okay, our resistance is uh, 2 ohms. Okay. Then we have the, uh, of course, the inductance is unknown here. Okay. So the current is uh, current I is equal to 10 amperes. Okay. Then we have the supply voltage V. Our V will be equal to 230 volts. Then we have 50 hertz supply. So we are asked to find the inductance. Okay. So first, let us uh, find our impedance. We can easily find our impedance. Okay. So our impedance simply by Ohm's law. So that is simply equal to V over I. So what is our V? That is equal to 230, 230 volts. Then our current I is equal to 10. So we just have 23 ohms. Okay, so 23 ohms. Okay. So meron tayo dito uh, 23 ohms. No? Okay. So we have here our by magnitude, let's say, no? we are asked to find our L. So by magnitude, by 
ating magnitude. So, let us use the Pythagorean theorem. So, gamitin natin, Pythagorean theorem. No? So, we have here our C squared, that's equal to R squared plus X of L squared. So, that is our formula. No? Okay, so we have here our Z squared. So, we have 23 squared, that's equal to R, which is 2 squared, then plus X of L squared. Okay, so what will be the value here? So our value is 22. 22.91 ohms. Okay. In our calculator, we can use the ship salt. Okay. Ship salt. Okay. So we have 22.91. So our X of L is equal to 2 pi FL. Okay. So FL. So let us get our inductance L. So we have here our 22.91. 91, then divided by 2, okay? So, that is divided by, so, let us just multiply the 2 pi F here. So, our F is uh, 50. Okay, so the answer would be 22.91, then divided by 2. You can press also divided by, then shift, times 10 to the X, so that we will have here our uh, pi and then divided by 50 equals 0 0.073. The answer is 0 0.072924794492. Okay? So our answer here will be 0 0.073. So that is the unit of the inductance in Henry. Okay. That would be letter. Okay, anong letter? Mga kawer pa. Okay, letter C. Letter C. Let's go to number three problem. Problem number three. A coil of resistance 1 ohm and impedance of 8.06 ohm is placed in series with the second coil of resistance 1.24 ohm. When a voltage of 200 volts is applied to the circuit, the current flowing is 6.3 amperes. Find the inductance of the second coil. The frequency of the supply is 50 hertz. Okay, let us draw the figure. So basically, we have two coils, no? Two coils in series. So the first coil will be, let's say we have RL here. Then we have the second coil, another RL. Yeah, no? okay. Then we have a voltage source here. A coil of resistance. So we have here, let's say, our R1. That is 1 ohm. Then we are given its impedance. Shall we say this is the impedance? Okay, this is our uh, Z1. No? is equal to 8.06. So we have here our x sub 1. With a second coil of resistance, so we are given second coil resistance that is 
24 ohms. When a voltage of 200 volts, so we are given 200 volt source. The current flowing. So we have here current that is equal to uh, 6.3 amperes. 6.3 amperes. Okay, so what is the unknown in our problem? No? The unknown here. Find the inductance of the second coil. So we are asked to find the inductance of the second coil. Please take note that our X sub 1 is unknown. Our X sub 2 is also unknown because our L2 is unknown, of course. Okay. So let us find first X sub 1 here. You can find X sub 1, right? So what is... Okay, first, let us set up no, by the way, no. let us go first with our working formula. Okay, what is our working formula here? So take note that we already have total voltage and the total current. We can calculate for the total impedance, right? Because by Ohm's law, it is equal to the voltage divided by current, isn't it? Okay, so we can calculate that. We can have the uh, total impedance. Take a look here. We can solve for the total impedance here. The total impedance, okay, by magnitude, Zt squared is equal to R total squared, okay, plus X total squared, isn't it? That is our working formula. Okay, so we have here our Z total. Our Z total is, let's get our Z total by Ohm's law. What is the Ohm's law in each circuit? Total voltage, 200 volts. Okay, what is the current? 6.3 amperes. Yeah. So let us divide this. We have 200 divided by 6.3. So the answer is 31.7, 31.75. Let us round off by two decimal places. 31.75. Here we have Z1 squared, Z1 squared, that's equal to R1 squared plus X1 squared. So our Z1 is 8.06 squared, that's equal to R1, which is 1 squared plus X1 squared. We can solve this by shift solve. So we have 8.06 x squared, alpha cal. So we have one squared. So we have plus alpha close parentheses, then you press x squared. Then shift cal equals. Okay, approximately our x sub one equal to eight ohms. That is eight ohms. So we already have this. Okay, take a look. We have the total impedance. Let us substitute. We have the uh, 31.75, 31. 31.75 squared. That's equal to R total. What is our R total? The series combination of the two resistance. We have R1 plus R2. We have one. Plus 1.24 quantity squared. Okay. Then we have to add plus. We have here x sub 1. Okay. 
our x sub 1, we have x sub 1, that is our 8. Then we have to add x sub 2. Then that is quantity squared. Remember, again, this is our z total. Our formula, again, the z total squared, that's equal to r total squared plus x total squared. Remember that the total, you just have to add the resistance. The two resistances for the total resistance. You add the two reactances for the total reactance. So we can now solve this easily using our calculator. Ship solve. Okay, let us calculate 31.75 x square, then alpha half, open parenthesis 1 plus 1.24, close parenthesis. Then you press x squared so that you will have here the squared. Then we have the plus 8 plus alpha, close parenthesis. So again, close parenthesis, then x squared. Then you press now shift call equals. There. You will have your hour x sub 2 that is equal to, so 20, this is actually 20. Six. This, uh, this is 23.67 ohms. And that is equal to 2 pi F. By the way, our F is how much is this? 50 hertz. So I will just substitute the 50 hertz, 50 hertz here. Okay, 2 pi F L. That should be L2. You can uh, ship solve this. No? You can use your ship solve in your calculator. So we have 23.67. Then alpha calc. So you have your 2 times ship times 10 to the x. So that you will have your phi. And then times 50. Then alpha close parenthesis. Times alpha close parenthesis. So you will have here the shape calc equals our answer is 0 0.075. That is our x. 0 0.075343.95. Isn't it? So you will have here your 0 0.075. Ah, I mean it should be our L sub 2. 0 0.075 L sub 2. So that is our answer. Okay, so to our viewers, no, especially to our uh, non-Filipino viewers, so we are using the uh, the Casio model. Actually, I'm using the 991 DS Plus, not this, the 991 from Casio. This one, just almost the same to this uh, latest edition. Of Casio, we have the 570 ES Plus. This is actually the second edition. You will see second edition. This one. The one with color black. No? So. This is allowed in our country no, for the licensure exam. Well, of course, if you will go to a conventional way, it's, uh, of course, you will have a longer uh, way of solving it. No? Let's say if you have this equation, this will become a quadratic equation and that will be too long. This one. But if you have this calculator, since our uh, standard of teaching is uh, is a board exam based or licensure exam based here in our country in the Philippines, so uh, we better use this calculator so that we can discuss a lot of things. No? So anyway, this is uh, more of a mathematical portion. So uh, we presume that... Uh, you have some basic knowledge in algebra in manipulating equations, okay? Because I remember the alternating current circuit when I was studying uh, in electrical engineering. This is a third year, uh, second semester subject in our uh, country here. Okay, now, what letter is our answer, partner? So our answer would be letter, ano letter sagot natin? 
letter okay letter c is our answer okay letter c then let's go now to problem number four problem number four so we have this problem so problem number four is uh, again a series rl circuit Number four problem, let us read the problem. A circuit consisting of a choking coil having an inductance of 0 0.05 Henry and a resistance of 10 ohms is connected to a 200 volts RMS supply at a frequency of 50 hertz and having a sine wave shape. Estimate the average power expanded in the circuit. Okay, for number four. Again, we have a series RL circuit. Okay, so this is a choking coil having an inductance. So our inductance L, this is equal to 0 0.05 Henry. Okay, 0 0.05 Henry and a resistance of 10 ohms. connected to so we have 200 volts rms this is the root mean square no okay and then we have given the frequency to be 50 hertz 50 hertz so we are asked to find the average power the p average that is the unknown. Okay, let us have first our X sub L. So our X sub L would be two pi times fifty. Then our L is. 0 0.05 2 pi FL so we have 2 times pi times 50 okay then times 0 0.05 so the answer is 5 pi then you press S to D in your calculator so we have here 15 point 71 ohms. Yeah, 15.71 ohms. Okay, let us have our Z, our total impedance. Basically, it is ZRL. So we have here, we have here uh, 10. Okay. If we have X sub L, it is positive J X sub L, right? So it should be positive. Positive J, okay, X sub L is 15.71.71. So let us convert this into polar form. Okay. Then shift, pull. We have 10, then shift. Close parenthesis, so we have here 15.71, then close parenthesis, then equals. So you have here 18.62, then our angle here will be uh, 57 point 57.52 degrees in ohms. Huh? Is for number four. Okay. So let us calculate now our current. So what is our current here? Our current I, the RMS value of the current. No? This is small i is the RMS value of the current. So what is our small i? 
current I by Ohm's law. So we have the small voltage V then over the Z. ZRL. So we have here our V, RMS, that is equal to 200. 200 volts RMS then divided by ZRL, which is 18. 0.62. So let us divide this. So this is 200 then divided by 18.62. So it will come up 10.74 amperes. Now, we are asked to find here the P average. What is the P average? This is the formula for P average. P average is equal to V RMS multiplied by the current I. Of course, that is in RMS, then multiplied by cosine theta. Again, what is the theta? That is the impedance angle here. Ito po yan. Okay? So we have here our P average, that is our VRMS, VRMS, that is uh, 200, then multiplied by IRMS, 10.74, then multiplied by cosine of uh, 50 52 degrees. So let us multiply 200 times 10.74 times cosine of uh, 57.52. Okay, so our answer is uh, let us round. Okay, let's have these two decimal places. So that is 11.53. Point four eight seven one one nine or forty nine. So that should be in watts. Okay, that should be in watts. Okay, so that will be our answer. The answer would be letter. So ano sagot natin? is 1143.49 that is nearest to letter A 1154 that is our answer okay take note for the formula of the P average so always remember this formula or we can have this as another formula so we have the uh, P average is equal to A. What is the RMS value of the voltage? The B RMS is the maximum voltage over square root of 2. See it? It is a formula. B RMS is equal to maximum voltage. B sub M is the maximum voltage or the peak voltage divided by square root of 2. And then... That is multiplied by okay, the maximum current divided by square root of 2. Then, of course, times cosine theta. So, mathematically, our P average will be equal to 1. That is V sub M, I sub M, maximum voltage times maximum current, square root of 2 times square root of 2 will just be equal to 2, okay, mathematically. Because that will just become 2 raised to 1 half times 2 raised to 1 half. So that's equal to the base, then the exponent will be added. That is 1 half plus 1 half. That's simply 1 here, okay. So we have here cosine theta. This is another formula to get the P average, okay. But wait, there's more. What else? So, we have here the P average is equal to, okay, I 
squared. No? I, RMS, let's say, squared multiplied by the resistance. It's because only resistive elements consumes watts. Please take note of that. Okay? Ang nagko-consumes ng watts, resistive elements. So we have here our IRMS. So we have 10.74 squared. Then multiplied by our R that is 10. Okay, let's have our calculator. 10.74 squared times 10, that is 11.53 also. 11.53 or 1,153.476 watts. Okay? So this will be our answer. Okay? Got it, mga kawerpa? Nakakuha po ba? Did you get that? Okay, so you just have to be involved into uh, so many formulas, no? You want really to pass the licensure exam. And even your college exam, if there are students, uh, college students uh, watching us, no? Okay, so, well, you may uh, copy this first. Okay, tapat mo muna dyan, partner. You may copy our uh, solution on the whiteboard. You just have to uh, remember these uh, basic formulas. No? Anyway, you can watch this uh, over and over again, no? You can uh, repeat watching this because we're going to uh, upload this in our YouTube channel, the Reggie Marina YouTube channel. So this is the name of my channel. Okay. So the Reggie Marina YouTube channel. Okay, so please uh, subscribe, like, and share. No? Okay, so that's the end of our first part of our lesson for today. Thanks be to God. Thank you.